Hi, I'm Dustin Hansen with Graywell Entertainment. And I'm Zane Pendleton with the Salt Pop Media website and Graywell. This is uh, the Graywell Entertainment update for the release day of 716. Really small week, but there's some actually cool things. We're going to talk really fast. This video is going to be the shortest one you've seen. That's my goal, but I'll probably keep rambling until it's 12 minutes long. But anyway, here we go. First release of the, of the week I want to talk about is uh, David Lynch's new album, The Big Dream. It's on Sacred Bones Records, instant cred. It's David Lynch, more cred. It's creepy, it's cool, it's got indie, electronic. It sounds like, um, it kind of reminds me of Tom Waits at points, but his voice is different, and you can actually hear that kind of high-pitched, whiny David Lynch voice when he sings. It's a really, really cool record. It's called uh, The Big Dream, and the CD and the LP version have a download card for the single with uh, Leaky Lee. Like the, the one everyone loves that he's been playing a lot and they did a big cool video for it, you know, a freaky David Lynch video for it. Um, it's on there. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. I think that's the one of my favorite pick of the week. Uh, next thing I have is the Only God Forgives soundtrack. This soundtrack is significant because it's based on a Nicholas Winding Refn movie starring Ryan Gosling, similar to that one that came out a couple years ago that we all love, Drive. Cliff Martinez did the score for that and other movies like Contagion. Um... This is pretty much all just score music with a couple, um, is it? I think it's Thai. Thai, yeah, uh, okay. It's wh wh wherever the movie takes place in Southeast Asia, it's like Southeast Asian music mixed yep. into the, the score that he's, yep. that's more typical like his normal scores. So. I, don't, I don't think it's going to be as big as the Drive soundtrack, but there's still some really great sound stuff on here. And fans of the Mushroom Jazz series, the, you know, Ask Jazz, all that fun you know, electronic stuff that Mark Farina does. He is back with Mushroom Jazz 7 on Ohm Records. Um, I've never heard one of these I don't think is good. They're all really good. When I first started working in the music industry, I thought these were like club club mixes. Like his house. name, because he, <laughs> he has DJ in front of his name, but yeah, really well, it's, I, it's more like progressive. It's like jazz and acid jazz and DJ jazz mixed with electronic. So it's actually really interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. good record. Pick that up. I got a few things to talk about. Uh, Comedy Central Records has actually released three albums from three different comedians this week. Um, the first is Moshe Kasher. Um, it's live in Oakland. These uh, They actually do a good job of containing CDs and DVDs with most of the releases that they're doing now. So this has the CD tracks and it has a DVD with the extended uncensored special that he did for Comedy Central. Um, so he's also got some other specials that you can watch online and, and some other things. Um, also out is uh, one of my favorites, Maria Bamford. Um, she was on the newest season of Arrested Development as Debris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this new album is called Ask Me About My New God. Um, it has a CD and then it has a DVD with two of her Comedy Central Presents specials that she's done on it. Um, she's part of the Comedians of Comedy with Patton Oswalt, Brian Posehn, Zach Galifianakis. They all toured together and did stuff together. So she does tons of voice work. She's she's great. And then also we have the new Tig Notaro. Um, it's Tig Notaro Live. This actually comes on CD, but you can also get a picture disc version of this um, that comes with the digital download card. So it's actually kind of interesting. You can get a comedy album on a picture disc. Um, it's just appealing to that that vinyl crowd. Well, and they, that, they, so. The significance of this show, what the reason why they put it on, they wanted to do, a, they pushed the release back on this and they put two different shows on it. It was, uh, if you're on the Twitter, uh, if you follow on Twitter and if you bought her on Facebook and that stuff, this was the show she did the day after, she had just had a loss in the family and then a day after she found out she had, uh, she had to get, a, she had breast cancer, she had to get a double mastectomy. She did a show while doing the show, there was people in the crowd like Louis C.K. and some other big comedians that and you know, were pushing her to, you know, she's like, was that too dark? Was that weird? She's like, no, do that. Because it's, she's just one, that, that, that watershed moment where a comedian breaks through a level and becomes something different. That's what this was. So if you're a stand-up comedy fan or the history of stand-up comedy, this is something you should really pick up. Then I got a few metal and punk releases to talk about. Um, we've got Noctmistium. Uh, this is Instinct Decay. Noctmistium is the, uh, they're from the Northwest, right? The Badass Northwestern band. black metal band. Um, lately they've gotten a little more experimental, incorporating electronic stuff, psychedelic stuff. Um, but this is one of their older albums. This is a reissue on 180 gram black, or actually it's on 180 gram heavyweight colored vinyl, this reissue. It's part of the Back on Black series that they've been doing to reissue a lot of like old metal stuff that's been out of print or unavailable otherwise. Um, so it's just a nice gatefold package. Um, also out is a new album from Defeater on Bridge Nine. It sounds like most of the stuff on Bridge Nine, it's, uh, it's punk, uh, punk rock 
kind of mixed with punk. Um, their older stuff is a little heavier, darker, more metallic than this. This is a little more straightforward punk music. Uh, scream vocals, uh, you know, typical guitar work for, for punk music, but really good example of that stuff. So, And then also, new album from Phil H. Anselmo, Phil Anselmo from Down, Pantera, famous vocalist for those bands. Um, this is another one of his side projects. This is Philip Anselmo and the Illegals. The album is called Walk Through Exits Only. Um, this is a limited edition vinyl. It's the first album from those guys. And I would say that it's probably one of the most extreme things that he's done in terms of like how loud and aggressive it is. And his vocals are consistently aggressive as opposed to like Pantera where they're kind of mixed or down. Um, this is much, much more aggressive and extreme than that. So. Um, check this out if you're a fan of him or any of the projects that he does. It's on his uh, House Core Records record label that he does for all of his side projects. So, and we have it on CD as well. Yep. A um, couple other quick things just to mention. We're not going to go a lot into them, but there's some good good releases. The first one is um, Mayor Hawthorne. Uh, there's a deluxe that has four special uh, four extra tracks and a CD, and the vinyl is coming as well. Mayor Hawthorne. It's now on Republic Records. Uh, been known he's kind of what r and b he's kind of one of those neo soul, soul. singers um he's a, he's a white guy that sounds like a black soul singer <laughs> <laughs> so check that out he's really good um this one is called we are the, we are the no. same or Actually, tall, the artist is tall, tall heart. heart the album's called we are the same it is the lead singer from say anything's new band yeah so if you're a say anything fan this is you know obviously you should be picking this up well and i wasn't the worst person to talk about it because obviously I didn't even know what the band name was, so I apologize. Tallheart. Idiot. <laughs> you know what it is. Sarah Barillis, uh, new album, Blessed Unrest. The Blessed Unrest. She is just a pop She's vocalist. A pop singer songwriter. She's had a few other really successful albums. This is her brand new album. Nope. Um, new Robert Randolph and the Family Band. It's got Trombone Shorty and Carlos Santana on it. He's a slide guitar player, kind of blues guitar player. Uh, awesome. If you're into that kind of sound, it's blues rock. There you go. Sick Puppies have a new album. I don't know anything about Sick Puppies, but we sell a lot of them. And you rock fans, here you go. Yep, hard rock fans. Brand new full-length album from them. And then last but not least, the Courtyard Hounds. Uh, it's, the, it's Marty and Emily from the Dixie Chicks. Which don't let that turn you off from listening to this because this actually doesn't this doesn't sound like the Dixie Chicks. It's not pop country. It's actually uh, more along a country folk alt country vibe to it. Still pretty vocals and and that kind of feel to it. But um, somebody who's not a fan of Dixie Chicks could definitely be a fan of this. And, and this is actually their second album. Yep, so. it is. And even if you like uh, the Dixie Chicks, you should still pick this up. Yeah, definitely. Great. All right, so that's pretty much it for music. We do have more in the stores. There's just not, you know, wasn't much to feature. We'll talk about some movies real quick. We have these all on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, Over the Top, Nitro Charged Violence, Sylvester Stallone in a movie that I think maybe six people saw. <laughs> Bullet to the Head. You know, if you have horror violence, stay away from this. If you don't care, watch people get shot in for the face. For fans of The Expendables. <laughs> 42, more inspirational. We'll go from bloody violence to inspirational. 42, The Story of Jackie Robinson. Uh, you can see um, Harrison Ford play Branch Ricky, the man that supposedly broke the color bar barrier in baseball. He's fat and old, and Harrison Ford matches the role perfectly. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> 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 All right, my, one of my favorite horror remakes that we've seen in a really long time, something that kind of just was over-the-top gross and badass. Evil Dead comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, I enjoyed this immensely. I just watched it again last night, and... It's the only thing you can do with an Evil Dead remake is make it more violent and more over the top. So they kind of sucked some of the humor of the original one out and turned the violence knob up to 11. And uh, it's so gross and, and just really, really good, actually. As a, as a horror remake of some, something that has such a huge cult following, it totally didn't fall flat. It, it does a good job of that. And uh, there's lots of bonus features, which after you see it, you're going to want to watch making of bonus features because of how gross it is. So The first special feature on it that you should check out is the Making Life Difficult, the intense and physically exhausting creation of the film. It's the actors just getting put through hell. So, yeah. great remake. It's one I highly recommend. And then a uh, cult classic, a show that's become a cult classic almost from the first episode that now... <laughs> They got rights to all the music. They have put they they were releasing these little packs of like twelve or thirteen episodes and kind of just non sequential, kind of all over the place. 
regular show, complete first and second seasons, all episodes, all original music put in. This has the uh, unaired pilot. I mean, it's got 40 different commentaries for all the episodes. Um, it's J.J. Quintel who did it, and that was, what was, Flapjack was the show yeah, he, he had before. Yeah, The of Flapjack. I mean, it's like one of the best, smartest cartoons, like, on But also, it's right so now. stupid and over the yeah. top. It's just like, what? But it just clicked. I like it. Give it a shot. You'll be surprised by some of the stuff that you see in it and how funny it is. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of voice, guest voice work from tons of different people, like comedians and musicians and different stuff like that. Like, there's an episode about rap that has Donald Glover and members of, and like Tyler the Creator from Odd Future, like mm -hmm. on the episode. And this is a kid's cartoon, but it's, it definitely has an appeal for, you know, anybody who's not a kid, too. So, this is the most complete set that's out. Like you said, 40 episodes and a, and a ton of special features. And it's on DVD and Blu ray. So, and parents, if you buy this for your kids, don't panic because it's the, the adult jokes are going to be way over their head, but they actually will still enjoy this, enjoy it because it's still funny. All right, well that's pretty much it of everything we could talk about today. Um, as always, come into the come into uh, the stores, check out the new release schedules, and we can uh, show you what's coming out. There is one thing I wanted to mention before we move on to the, the the credits. John Densmore, the drummer of The Doors, will be doing. He has a new book out. It's called The Doors Unhinged. It's his follow up to the book he wrote a few years back, and I think ninety one called Writers on the Storm. Um, it's new book. It's on hardback and uh, paperback edition. He's doing a book signing at our Taylorsville location, uh, 4700 South Redwood Road, on July 27th at 2 p.m. We will have books available day of, um, but we also will have the books available starting Monday, July 22nd, where you come in and buy it, and they'll give you a wristband that'll get you into the, the event. Buy a book. He will sign the book for you and one related doors item. Then we'll have someone taking pictures for you and stuff really fast so we can get through the line and get as many people in as possible. Um, it's kind of a cool event. Some, you know, he's an old rock star who's ready to sign some books for you. So come out and see us. Um, like I said, the hardcover edition will be $24.99. The softcover edition will be $14.99. We'll have both available starting Monday the 22nd. And uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channels. You can find all the Graywell updates at Graywell Utah, youtube.com slash Graywell Utah. And you can find Graywell on facebook.com slash Graywell and on Instagram and Twitter at Graywell SLC. And also remember to go to the new saltpop.net website for all the updates. We talk about pop culture updates, uh, comic books, movies, music, all kinds of different stuff. Um, and we have a YouTube channel at youtube.com slash saltpopofficial. You get these video updates on both of those YouTube channels, so be sure to subscribe and you'll get the updates as soon as they're uploaded. And the next video that we do will actually be a day late. It'll be published a day late because some of us have to go to Comic-Con. Have to go to Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> it's for work. Yeah, so there'll still be an update. It'll just be up on Wednesday rather than Tuesday. So, so yeah. Anything else, uh, come see us as soon as you can. There's summertime. I know there's a lot of stuff going on, but come in and spend, spend some time and money in the stores. And don't be a dick. Shop local.